Hey, I'm Harry Josh. I'm going to show you guys at home how to get a sleek blow dry using my blow dryer and brush available at dermstore.com. Step one, brushing your hair. Really important foundation for blow drying hair is to make sure there is zero tangles. So as you can see, I've decided to use my wide square paddle brush on her hair because she has very thick hair. And for thick hair, you really want a brush that can kind of really grip through the hair, get through all the knots, and totally make it very slippery and easy to section. All right, once you've brushed your hair, organization is key when it comes to a blowout. Having really clean sections and really good parting will really make your life a lot easier. So today I will pick a dead center part, or at least close to, and we'll take a look at that here. It's like comb through the hair. Usually what I like to do when finding a part, a lot of people, people ask me, well, how do I get the perfect part? Usually what I do is I kind of push the hair back like this and I just pop my hands and I see where it starts to fall and usually I can find some kind of line and that's not so bad and that worked. And we can just kind of clean this up with the tail comb. Another awesome feature about this tail comb is of course cleaning up these sections and making them very, very sharp. All right, so once you get a nice section, so I think this is really good, we're gonna work with a nice clean parted section. Now it's time to really organize your blow dry. Um, what I mean by that, this is the most crucial thing you'll ever do, and that is trying to figure out how to get your sections nice and clean so that your sections when you blow dry are smooth, silky, and awesome. I like to break it into four. I think it's the easiest way for everyone at home to recreate something, especially the back of their head, which is tricky. So I'm gonna use my trusty rubberized clips. Here's one section here. And then we have our first section to actually blow dry. When it comes to blow drying the hair, you wanna take sections that are reasonable for the amount of hair you have. So I think I can probably get away with doing three big sections on her hair. The dryer is so powerful that I'm about to use, is gonna be able to blow dry this very quickly. We have two nozzles that come with the Harry Josh Pro Tools dryer. They both look different and they have both have different airflow and they have purposes. This wider airflow that's designed is designed for fine hair to create lift or to basically create more airflow so that the hair becomes more fluffy, light, and airy. Now these ones, finer, is gonna be what I'm using on her. And what this gives is sleek, polished, and together. I'm gonna use a trusty round brush here for this blow dry too, which technically with her type of hair and the look that I want, which is that finished, sleek, very smooth look that looks like it's almost been flat ironed, but really just a beautiful blow dry. What I'm gonna use is this for starters, and then, Shocking everyone at home, I'm gonna use my premium oval brush. Um, a lot of people don't think that this is a great styling brush. They think of it as more of a brush to detangle their hair. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna break that myth right now. I'm gonna start the whole blow dryer with this to show you how amazing this brush can really smooth hair with a powerful blow dryer and a nozzle. All right, so the blow dryer, I'm gonna be putting it on a max setting of heat, max setting of power, and this little feature is a built-in feature for ionic technology. For those of you guys who are unfamiliar with ionic technology, what that does is it helps defrizz hair that's extremely frizzy, kinky, curly or really needs that extra kind of love to get it really smooth and finished. Her hair is not that, so I'm gonna keep it off. This is the off icon, I don't need it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna comb through this once, make sure there's still no knots, which there isn't. I'm about to turn on the dryer and you'll notice that when I dry the hair, I aim the hair, the dryer, sorry, down on the hair. And that's really crucial because I noticed that a lot of people when they do it, they, they go like this when they blow dry their hair. And what that does is it makes all the hair fly up and never has that smooth finish. So really the key is always down and where the nozzle is hovering like a half an inch, just a half an inch above the dryer. Here it goes, a half an inch, just all the way down. You're gonna see my first section happen right now. So really when you've got a dryer with an engine as strong as I have, this is really gonna make your blow drying time, as long as you're systematically organized, very quick. Next section.
All right, there you go. Perfect satin finish, very, very silky, very, very smooth. Didn't even need a flat iron, how about that? This brush is a wonder brush, the dryer is a beautiful dryer that can make your hair this smooth, this sleek, this effortlessly. We're gonna flip to the other side and we're gonna do exactly what we did. Clip that up there and begin my blow dry. So as you can see, it's coming together quite beautifully and you'll notice how smooth and silky it really is. Again, it's that nozzle concentrated really, really close to condense all the heat and, and really just let it glide through the brush. Also for another note, you can see how durable the brush is. There's not a bend or crook in this and that's really showing the strength of the bristles and allowing you to get this really silky smooth, sleek blowout. So for you guys at home who are like, I love her hair, but I actually am a bouncy blowout girl. I'm someone who likes to have hair that's really full, really big. Um, you would use a different tool and you'd, I'm gonna give you another tip at home as well. So this is the round brush you would wanna use. So if you're gonna use, want a big voluminous blow dry, you wanna use a round brush. And the other thing that I would add, you can use your sections exactly the same as what you just did. The only one feature that I'm gonna add that we have not talked about is this cold shot. Now what's great about this dryer is that this is one of the truest cold shots there is in dryers. I know everyone at home is gonna be like, I've got a dryer, it's got a cold shot, I use it all the time. What your dryers at home are doing are removing heat. They are not actually instigating putting in cold air. Why cold air is important? Because it freezes it. It literally freezes the hair into shape. Uh, for any of you guys who know my social media, check out, look up one of my favorite covers I did, which is I'll mention for Australian Vogue, that whole style was just a round brush and a blow dry. And that cold shot is what gave me all the lift and all the movement. So I know we're not doing that now. This is more of a sleek blow dry, but know the versatility of the tool and be able to know that you can do anything you want. All right, and there you have it, a sleek blow dry.